everybody just getting ready for next year trying these things on I don't think we'll need it today though usually the last day or two of class I try to say something to the seniors I attempt to be profound say something you'll remember and we can't do that face to face this year so I guess this is the next best thing my wife gets nervous when I ad lib, so um, she made me write it down. So excuse me if I have to read it. Three days from now, you'll have your high school diplomas. I know this isn't how you plan to spend the last few months of your senior year, but no matter what we do, life happens the way it will. To find peace, accept that there are things you cannot change. When faced with situations beyond your control, remember, you can't control the situation, but you can control your reaction. The true measure of a person is not how they handle the good times, but how they react to the tough times. True courage is showing grace under pressure, and many of you have. I'm proud of you. I'll retire in 2,481 teaching days. That's not approximate, that's exact. And in 17 days, you'll have your high school diplomas, and you'll officially be William Tennant High School graduates. Some say the time you spend in high school are the best days of your lives, but this isn't true. The best day of your life should always be today, because tomorrow is promised to no man or woman. So live each day, truly live it. Take the time to breathe it in. Take the time to experience all that the day encompasses. A man much wiser than me once said you should do three things each day. You should laugh. You should think. You should allow your emotions to bring you to tears. Tears of sadness or tears of joy. If you can do those three things, laugh, think, and be moved to tears, well then you've lived that day. Each day is made up of 24 hours, and in approximately 400 hours, you'll be graduates. A lot can be done in an hour. In an hour you can catch up with a long lost friend separated by the miles and the roads your lives have taken. A friend you haven't seen in months because they go to a different school or maybe longer because they work in a different state or maybe just a friend who's married and can't hang out on a Friday night anymore. It only takes an hour to reconnect. In an hour you can sit down and have a meal with your family. You can turn off the cell phone and talk to the people at the table. I don't care what the food pyramid says, trust me, a healthy meal is any meal where the family sits down together and talks. Conversation not only improves digestion, it's good for the mind, the body, and the soul. There are 24 hours in a day. You can spend at least one talking with the people who mean the most to you. The family, the friends who have always been there for you and who will always be there for you. In an hour, you can close the gaps caused by life. In 24,000 minutes, you'll be high school graduates. Most of us let the minutes slip away without regard, without thought. But you can do a lot in a minute. It only takes a minute to slow down a very busy life. Years from now, it'll only take a minute of breathing the fresh salt air in Jersey to be young again. But please, and I'm begging you on this, please don't fist bump, don't twerk, no duck face selfies, you look stupid. But a sunrise, a sunset, can be enjoyed in a minute. The breathtaking works of art which appear naturally all around us each day can be taken in in a minute. If we took the time to hold the door open for somebody, does that really take more than a minute? It only takes a minute to send a friend a text. It takes a minute to listen. It takes a minute to truly hear someone. And isn't that all we ask of our good friends? To listen to us? To hear us? It only takes a minute to be a good friend. And it really only takes a minute to make most of the decisions in your life. Because if you have to think for more than a minute, is it the right thing? Is it the wrong thing? Well, you already know the answer. You'll graduate in 1,440,000 seconds. That you might want to check because Mr. Smith gave me those numbers and his math's a little shaky. We let the seconds of our lives tick by without much regard. After all, what can you do in a second? Well, in a second you can thank someone. You can tell someone you miss them. You can tell someone you love them. In a second, you can say thank you. In a second, you can let the world know 
how you feel without saying a word, a smile, a nod, a wink. It only takes a second to make someone laugh or to make someone cry. In a mere second, we can make someone happy or we can make them sad. It only takes a second to make someone's day and it only takes a second to ruin someone's day. Don't disregard the seconds. They're important. They add up and you don't get them back. Some of you will be going to college. Some of you will be going to work. Some of you will be going in the military. Some of you will marry. Some of you will not. Some of you will be parents. But someday, don't rush it. Some will wander. Some will follow a straight line. But no matter where you go and how you get there, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget who you are. Don't be a jerk. Life is much easier if you're not a jerk. Fill the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds. Live with purpose. Enjoy the ride. Congratulations.